Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take something that is in your Google Drive, whether that be a spreadsheet, a PowerPoint. Um, when I say PowerPoint, of course, I mean Google Slide. It could be a Word document, anything that you want. And I'm going to show you how you can embed it into a Canvas page or a Canvas assignment or a Canvas discussion, pretty much anywhere on Canvas. Before I do this, though, I do want to show you the benefit of this. If I'm a student and I'm looking at content on a page, this is what I'm seeing. This is a PowerPoint, of course. However, I don't have to click anything. I don't have to download anything. I don't have to open a new tab. And I'm going to go through here and click through and see the slides as though I had downloaded on my computer. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. We will come up here to the Edit button. And I actually have a second slide presentation that I want to add to this page. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Scroll down here to the bottom. And what I'm adding is a second presentation that's looking at the intermediate level. If you don't have this little Google Apps icon here, I'm going to show you, once I'm done demonstrating this, how to go in and make sure your Google Apps are turned on. But to insert anything from your Google Drive, you're going to click on the Google Apps icon. Once you do this, it's going to bring up all those folders that are in your Google Drive. And so we're going to go through here and we're going to search. The presentation I'm looking for is in this folder. And I'm wanting to embed that Google Drive intermediate presentation. I've already embedded the beginner one, so now I'm going to go ahead and embed the intermediate one. And by clicking embed, it does exactly what I showed you a moment ago. And now it is embedded on that page. Now having taught chemistry and biology in the past, I'm human and I would occasionally mess up a slide and need to change some of the information. So what is very neat about this is that if I'm, I notice that change that I need to make, I can go in to my Google Drive and make any changes here that I would like to. And of course it's automatically saving that as I do it. Now, if I'm a student, I come over here, and when I hit refresh, that information is automatically going to be updated. So especially for math teachers, um, whether it's you know numerical values or maybe you misspelled a word, you don't have to download anything and then re-upload anything in any way, updating it one time here, and then it's automatically updated on that student view. So that's really nice. You would do the exact same thing if you were in an assignment and wanted to embed a Word document. Again, you can embed it however you want to. Let's make sure that you have your Google app. If you don't have the Google app, you're going to come down here to Settings. And over here under our Apps tab, you are just simply going to type in Google. And just make, you can see I've already got it installed, but make sure you have that Google Apps installed there. If it asks you for a key, which it probably should, there's instructions right here that tell you how to get that key. So you hit Add App, and there's a couple things that you would do to get that app. So as always, let me know if you have any questions.